basic on scrambled eggs on toast. Now for the toast, I'm actually gonna make some brioche. Brioche is essentially really buttery bread. The difference with these small loaves is I've incorporated some mincemeat into the dough. These need to go into the oven for about 45 minutes. Now to my reindeer milk. I've decided to turn it into ice cream because of how great the frozen milk tasted in Siberia and to put it on top of my brioche. To make this, I start by mixing egg yolks and unrefined caster sugar. This has a slight molasses note, which adds a lovely complexity to the dish. So the eggs and sugar have been whisking for about five minutes. Now I need to heat some milk up. And here, I've got the reindeer milk. Now, this is very high fat, between 16 and 25%, which makes it incredibly rich. But I just need to temper that a little bit with some skim milk. I heat the milk until it's hot but not boiling and then slowly add it to the mixture in the bowl, whisking the whole time. So that once that's incorporated, pour this back into the pan. Once the mixture reaches 70 degrees, I hold it there for five minutes to pasteurize the mix. So the next stage is to cool this down as quickly as possible. I'm just gonna plunge it into a bucket of ice. So here are the brioche loaves. They've come out of the oven and I've left them to cool on a cake rack. So when they're cold, I need to slice a couple of slices. You can see the mincemeat running through the, through the loaf. Now, I soak the brioche in a mixture of egg, milk, cream, sugar, some walnut liqueur, and some vanilla seeds. What I'm making here is in essence posh eggy bread put the brioche into the pan in which I've got some sizzling clarified butter. It's important to do two processes to this, the butter first, then the caramel afterwards. That way you get a wonderful crust that's um, also very delicate. And the idea is the bread slices themselves will be soaked with this wonderful creamy mixture, so they'll be almost, it will be semi-liquid inside. Once the slices are nicely golden, take out of the pan and give the pan a quick clean with a dry cloth. Then, add some unrefined caster sugar. I use this because it has low water content, so it caramelizes really quickly. You take the brioche slices and pop them back in. Just be very careful, this is incredibly hot. Add a little more sugar on top of the slices and turn them to get an even coating of the golden caramel. Then, drain the slices and put them on the plate. So the next step is to butter the toast. Now I've got over here is some, some brandy butter. So combine butter, brandy and sugar. And in here we've got some minced meat, which we made with a range of dry fruit, spices, there's a bit of walnut in there as well. Just a touch of that on the side. So there's the butter toast of the minced meat. Now before I scramble the eggs or scramble the ice cream, wouldn't be breakfast without bacon, would it? So, over here, I've got some crystallized bacon. We've got taken pancetta, frozen it, sliced it in really thin, thin as possible, and then just dried it in the oven. So it's wonderful, crisp, sweet bacon. So there's the bacon on toast. Just missing the scrambled eggs, which I'm gonna do right now. I'm not scrambling them with heat. I'm going to scramble them with this, liquid nitrogen. The great thing about this technique is that because the nitrogen is minus 197 degrees centigrade, the ice crystals that form are tiny, making the ice cream really creamy and smooth. Here we are. My nitro scrambled reindeer milk ice cream on toast. And a bit of pancetta. Good. Uh, oh. oh, thank you. Oh, how delicious. We'll do breakfast. And then we do lunch. That's beautiful. It's toast. Mm -hmm. with... Caramel. Wow, that's really good. Very good. Well, that's nice, isn't it? This is amazing. Oh, that's very, this is that's just very so nice. Lovely. Like the nicest glass of milk you've ever drunk at just the right temperature from the fridge. 
You know, when you, when you have a chilled glass of milk and it's just right. Sugared bacon. Sugared sweet bacon. <laughs> that, that is Oscar good. Oscar The brio, this is... Oh. <laughs> Extraordinary. Oh, yeah, that's quite right. Oh, good that's Lord, that bacon. Taste the bacon. Yeah. I don't understand how you can take sugar and bacon and make and reconstitute them into a ration that tastes that crispy and that fatty, and yet that's... Oh, that was... If you try to cook a brioche, to get it that crisp and that soft in the middle... That's amazing. How do you do that? Good. Yeah, this is just lovely. That's great. But it was just delicious. And all, obviously, the fact that it came all the way from Siberia, you know, it doesn't land on your doorstep, you know, ever. So, again, it felt like you were eating us a one-off special meal that you'd always remember. Well, that reindeer mm. did not give up its milk in vain. Now, for me, in talking about perfect Christmas, can't be a perfect Christmas without snow, some shape or form. And I needed snow. So the idea is a hiding behind a tree at the end of the meal and making it snow, creating snow for the end of my perfect Christmas dinner, which is exactly what I did. Uh, oh, hello. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing on Dara. <laughs> Excited to have eaten it because you can see all the ideas going on and the and the sort of boyish passion behind it and he's taken the sort of component parts of a great Christmas and sort of spun something magical. And really you really Thank you. Congratulations. It really has been just one thing after one remarkable thing after another. So it is very very hard to to take it all in. I've just got vague memories of different textures and tastes and and, and reactions of, Ooh, what's this? Hmm. It's really. That was wonderful. It wasn't too cold here, was it? Was it was wonderful. I, th I thought it was absolutely magnificent. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's Lovely. Stuff. I do feel like, like I opened the back of something and there was a golden ticket in it and we got to have this. Like, this is insanely good. Right. No. Really, really good. So if somebody actually said to me, how do you think it went? How do you think you did? I'd have to say that I think I've just cooked one of the most memorable meals of my life. And may all 